down here, Chuck. He's been acting strange. Well, stranger than usual, I mean. I know what you're saying, Nance. <laughs> <laughs> By then, no, by then. Do, but Oak Ford, Devonshire, England? And these caps he's making us wear? I sure know what you're saying, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> With all this talk of crooked people on the parish council and drain of the swamp, I kind of hope we left that behind. I know what you're saying, Nancy. <laughs> but Chuck, you're his chief of staff. Can't you talk to him and calm him down at Itsy Bits? Well, I don't know what I could do. I mean, I don't know anything about the job, really. I just made a big contribution to his campaign fund. Oh, great. I know what you're saying, Nancy. <laughs> Anyways, couldn't his defense secretary and chief of the armed forces, Mad Dog Mayor, have a word? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm sorry to say we've been getting reports that people from Bampton have been coming to the village. Hey! hey. hey. More. Hey. 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 How are we going to make Oak Ford great again if this continues? <laughs> He's a dangerous people. I thought the mining on Hangman's Hill and the drone surveillance on Stilwell. <laughs> 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 Yes, sir. You mean no, sir, don't you? I'm just surrounded by incompetence. But I tell you, we are going to make Oak Ford great again. Yes, yes Mr. President. President. Yes, sir. We're going to build a wall. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> and smoothly and butt. <laughs> oh, block the bridges. <laughs> oh. And Oakford Bridge, the dollar sign. Oh, it is. It's gonna be beautiful. Yes, yes sir. sir. It's gonna be amazing. This mess stops right here, and it stops right now. We need to stop these people entering the village. <laughs> <laughs> we need controls at the border. Stoodley, Rackenford. <laughs> oh. These people will not be coming to ride on the village bus. Oh, oh, oh. revelation. I'm going to issue a presidential order. Awesome. Yes, sir. There are bad people out there doing bad things. We need to protect the Oakford citizens, restore jobs, and save millions and millions of dollars. <coughs> the pounds. <laughs> but it's gonna be Oak Ford first. Oak Ford first. Outstanding. I guess you've heard about some of these tough phone calls I've been having recently with people. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You gotta be tough sometimes. The big employers are gonna wanna come back here and restore hundreds of thousands of new 
Oak Forge Jive. Old Valley Farmers. Travis <laughs> Perkins. Oh, no. The Flying Pickle. <laughs> oh, and one other thing. The citizens of Oakford need something to cheer up their dull little lives. I'm going to build a golf course on the playing field. Hey! They're going to love it. But, but don't they have a P-Tank pitch there? P-Tank? What sort of game is that? No, no. We're going to get rid of that. There oh, is yes. one small concern, Mr. President. I thought I need to draw to your attention as leader of the free world and y'all. Go on. There's been reports that the Russians... What? Well, hold it, Nancy. <laughs> Mr. President, the Russians? Wait, this is important, Nancy. <laughs> what? Why don't you jump on my fast elevator and jump down? <laughs> Why? I tell you what, we could have... You know, That'd be all, Dolores. <coughs> now, Mr. President, I insist we talk about this. Uh, you're always trying to spoil my fun, Nancy. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> what's the problem? Thank you. What's the problem? <laughs> what's the problem, Cook? Uh, do I get to get to DEFCON 3? The media have been reporting that Magdal Mayor has been meeting with the Russians again. <laughs> it's all over the Tiverton Gazette. Them pesky Ruskies. Coming so soon after Russian allegations involving your presidency here, sir? That's fake news. Fake news. And the forced resignation of your campaign manager and your press security advisor? Fake news. Phony. Fake. I could name the people responsible, but I'm not going to bother. This is really sensitive, sir. Sir, there has been increased activity recently. Those Russian bear flights over the playing field and the nuclear submarine up the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry to say, sir, I know General Mayer would paint those warm beers they served here in Rubles the other day. That's more fake news, more fake news. Just phone tapping. Why do you know the chairman of the parish council tried to tap my very own phone before I got no. here? Unbelievable. John Bad or sick guy. Yeah. We need to get some alternative facts out there. <coughs> Where's my press secretary? Ow! Ow! Yes, sir, Mr. President. Those crooked media guys have been attacking my administration again. Just like when Devonshire's local radio tried to say that I did not have 500,000 people lying in Rookery Hill the day I arrived here. <laughs> these, these, the attempts, might be quite bad. these attempts to undermine the, the importance of my presidency are shameful and wrong. These media people are amongst the most dishonest on this earth. We need to get outside of the story out there, Al. You still got that program on your laptop that generates random tweets in the middle of the night? I sure have, Mr. President. <laughs> well, fire it up, Al. Fire it up. <laughs> <That'll do laughs> well, okay, sir. I'm just a bit nervous. It might cause a stock market crash or, or the threat of a nuclear attack from North Korea, like last time. You worry too much, Al. We've got to get our story out there. If we have any problems, why, we'll get the FBI right on to them. Well, I'm not sure the FBI's on our side right now, sir. And anyway, there's no FBI office in Old Ford. Ah, uh, damn, this is just the sort of negativism we do not need if we're going to make Old Ford great again. You're fired, Al. You're fired. But I only started yesterday. Gee, Mr. President, who's going to be our press secretary now? What's that little gal's name again? <laughs> Dolores. Maybe she needs a new job. Oh, Dolores. Dolores, honey, you <laughs> Oh, no. When it gets out that the president's given the press secretary's job to a tea lady, it's going to be a media firestorm. It's going to be worse than Watergate. It's going to be apocalyptic. This is not the time for indecision. This is time for swift, positive action. I sure know what you're saying, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs>